What's going on guys? It's your boy Whitey, keeping it tight, and today we have an episode of Age of Civilization 2. Now I've been waiting for this game to come out for about two-ish years now, so it's finally out, so we have a little bit of fun. Today we're going to be playing as the Confederate States in the American Civil War. Now there is multiple scenarios from the Second Boer War to the Napoleonic Wars to the Shang Sengoku uh, Wars between the multiple tribes to unify J Japan, Japan, whatever you want to say it. There's also, of course, World War II and multiple, multiple other ones. There's even the Great Emu War from with Australia. So, of course, these are all the birds. <laughs> this is Australia, and uh, yeah, there's like there's there's so many different things. And as you can see, there's of course World War II, the football war. I I really don't know what that is, but they're just smaller scenarios. And there's the United States, so you can play as a specific state in the United States and go to war with everybody. The game is very similar to Hearts of Iron 4 in the sense of, uh, yeah, like it's 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 not uh, real time, it's turn based, but it has a very same similar, uh, what would you say, uh, very similar like styles of gameplay. You have to create, you know, different, you have to create like, you know, land farms things they, they build yourself up there's no such thing as factories in this game you basically have troops you have the population you need the population to be able to create more troops in that yeah taxes etc etc things that just kind of help everything uh going but we're gonna go ahead and head back to well we have the modern world american civil war let's head back to the civil war back okay it's not uh let me get there let's get let me just this way all right so we're gonna be playing as the confederates so i'm player one we're gonna go ahead and start this now i already did a quick run through uh before and one of the big issues is that the union's difficulty is 33 percent and of course there's no else no one else to trade with the world is completely empty besides this, these two nations which is a little disappointing i was kind of hoping it might be spain or france or england or just something to kind of gain some trade with but uh yeah the union controls of course the entire northeast north northeast and they control the western coast now the biggest issue that i found in the beginning was not taking over these i wasn't paying attention i was just building up troops along the border and when the war started i cut through and got all the way up to scranton in new york and then the union just came back and threw me almost all the way back almost took montgomery my capital and i was able to push those guys back peace treaty i had almost taken all of the west coast but unfortunately it just didn't work out so we're gonna try and capture as much of this as possible much of the neutral areas possible because this amount of land right here is going to be the difference between winning and losing because once we start the war with the union i'm basically going to create a structure of forts along the entire line and that's going to hopefully hold off the union while we conquer the west because once all of these are in our possessions all of this is in our possessions and even all of uh what is this uh is this kansas i can't be kansas yeah, above, yeah, it's Kansas, sorry, Kansas. So once we have all of Kansas, then we'll be able to start flowing all the way through up until we get to Michigan and keep pushing into New York and, and Rhode Island and all that stuff. And we're just going to knock it all apart. And then eventually we'll take the capital, of course, and basically just kind of push all the way up until we get into Maine and take over. But the, the biggest things first is we need to secure as much of this land as possible. Of course, the Union's going to be doing their best as well. But once all the neutral land is, is, is uh, kept up, we'll see where we're standing. And we'll start building up our line of defense, and then we'll take over the Union's West Coast, and uh, that's going to be all she wrote. So let's go ahead and start this uh, start this game right now, and get this going. All right. Uh, before I start, I want to set myself a uh, fifteen minute time limit for each episode, so we're not getting too crazy. Oh my god. <laughs> and all right, let's my timer going and we're gonna put 15 minutes sorry if this beeps in your guys' fucking ear but you know this is how it's gonna be 15 minutes all right let's get it going we have 2,000 troops starting in Montgomery and of course we want to recruit a lot we don't even need that many troops to start capturing stuff honestly like 19 per we only have uh, of course movement points and we're gonna be putting about 200 here because we'll be able to take all of this real quick. And I think that'll be all she wrote. Okay. 
Yes, submit orders. All right, so we're in the next game so far. Okay, so we're going to push as many of our troops into this territory, like I said, as we can. Because the more territory we take from the Americans at starting out is going to be the better. Okay. And I want to keep a semblance. 15 here, 15 here. And I'm going to send the main force through here. All right, so let's submit those orders. All right. Awesome, awesome. So far, the Americans haven't taken any land, so we might be able to capture all of this, which would be great. And we're actually not going to do that because, of course, we only have 8.5 turns, so we want to we want to savor as much of uh, this as we can. And I'll cost more point movements to move troops to a new territory into an enemy territory than it costs you to basically move them into what would you say um, uh, a neutral or friendly territory so we're just going to push our troops keep going as far as we can to capture up all this extra land and uh, all right all right doing so good so far i'm going to take the rest of this land down here man the union has not taken any land uh from this area so this means we're going to be in, in incredibly good shape going to submit those orders and would you look at that the union didn't take any bit of land so this this is where we're at sitting right now we have 19,000 in our treasury with a plus 4,000 um, and we got income of province reduced due to slow stability okay promise increased stability and we also have technology points will expire in one turn okay so we do have technology points up to 43 we need population. Population growth is key to <laughs> defeating the Union. Uh, the more population, the more troops we can have. So we're going to go ahead and put this up to 15th. We want a good economy too. So we're going to throw this guy up to 10. And we want a good military upkeep. So we're going to put this guy to 10 as well. Uh, I'll keep it at the 8. We also need uh, income for production. So we'll put that to 3. Taxation, not as big a deal. Colonization, colonization cost. We do not need to touch because we're not colonizing anything. Uh, research, we will throw, probably dump the rest into research right here. Uh, all right, and we will uh, we will close that out, and that'll be that. All right. So as far as province stability, that's 100. That's 89, 89. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna assimilate those guys. <laughs> Man, it costs a thousand gold to assimilate. But everything else seems pretty stable as provinces go. Okay, we're just going to go ahead and get into map mode, political, and army. So, while we're here, we're going to go ahead and move as many troops as we can over here to the Wickenburg area. And again, we want to hold the line as much as possible, which and the Union is going to come at us with a, quite a bit of troops. So what we need to do is build some a watchtower and a castle. Highs army for sight of your watchtowers, and this allows armies to see neighboring provinces. It also gives us a 10 plus defensive bonus. And I think for now we're going to do that. Construct one in here. These are almost two, where the where the biggest biggest uh, threats are going to be from and we're also going to throw in some more ports to get us uh, ability to go into the sea and we want one in Houston as well we're also going to start building farms and we have enough for a watchtower but I'm not going to do that we're just going to go ahead and throw mm, actually we don't have any points we're just going to hit next and see where we're at alright building a all right, awesome. We got our ports, which means they can start doing their things. We're gonna go ahead and surround our guy with uh, a couple farms. And that'll feed the people. All right. Where we have low stability at? It's 91%, 89%. I mean, it's really not too shabby. Far as stability goes, and of course we can always send troops into those areas if we need to. Okay. 
uh, population score. So we need to get our population score up. Economic score, we're actually doing a lot better than they are currently in economics. Total income, we don't have a lot of taxes, but we don't need to because we're only 4,000 plus. Let's dump a little bit of money into research. And goods are pretty good. Throw our goods up just slightly. All right. Of course, we're going to continue on in building our farms. This is what we need, and also building castles. We got lots of castles now, which is good. Um, I think what we need to do is also build ourselves our watchtower, so we can see where enemy troops are. And we're going to continue on with the farms. We need to be able to feed the people. That's what we need to be able to do. Alrighty. So. Again, we have 2,000 troops. I want to go ahead and keep those guys there. So we have 105 American troops there. Let's go ahead and just go ahead and throw about 100 of our own in these provinces because we need some type of defense. Let's get them up to there. About 100 guys there. All right. And, of course, we're going to continue building our farms. Man, that's a lot of money for a farm. <laughs> All right, so where are we at right now? We are sitting at, they're sitting at a really good population score, but our economy store is a lot better. And you only have about five, uh, four turns of uh, no no one fucking with you before, before shit gets a little hairy. Um, more technology and income production plus five. That's probably gonna be something we want. All right, and we are sitting there. Used to low stability. Okay, so we do need, in fact, to increase these guys' stability over here. All right, so we're going to go ahead and take the lowest one first. And we are going to give it some more. Assimilate. 29. It said 29 gold. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm right. And while I was saying a thousand, strange. All right. We're going to assimilate this culture as well. Alright, and it's also saying we got stability wise in these guys. I'm not really saying much, but hopefully that increases stability. Province increased stability. Not really showing me. Take 48 turns to fully assimilate these guys. Strange. Okay. <coughs> yeah, the union the units kicking our ass as far as population goes. Sorry, folks. Wife called me. Had to figure, fix that. Alrighty. So we have a pretty good defensive line here. Um, they will be able to push into the coast. Um, I think what we're gonna need to do is get some more ports going. We need some more money and also increase troops. About a hundred. A hundred here, or roughly a hundred. That's where I'm sitting at right now. We just we need some troops to be able to handle this incoming threat of Alright, where are we sitting at with assimilation? Where's the stability? Alright, and all these guys, I've already assimilated them. So those should be able to help out a lot. Alright, so we can actually... As far as that goes... Now we have, again, we need population. That's what we need is population. So we're going to go ahead and increase that. We're going to try to max out our population as quick as possible before it. And again, I'm not going to be the aggressor this time. I want the Union to declare war on me because it gave me a maximum amount of time to build up troops, build up uh, everything that we can to be able to fight the Union. And so we're just going to go ahead and throw 140 guys' troops here. And yes, submit that. And we're going to build... A watchtower here actually just so we can see where the Union's going with this all right so the Union has no troops in these areas right now only have is 105 all right let's 
go ahead and keep increasing our all right, struts. All right, yeah, we're doing good so far. Just keep keeping the. Uh, yeah, I got that. That's fine. Not much I can really do about that. We want farms. And we want constructions. So we want build castle here. So increase the strength of my troops. More technology points is what we need. Let's, uh, let's farm it out real quick. Population, let's increase that guy up as much as we can. We're gonna go ahead and... Yeah, let's keep the farms going. We need, we need food and a lot of other things. So the peop more people are happy. Okay, we got some disease going on here. I have not figured out how to to fix diseases. Um, provincial stability. Um, I really have no idea how to fix that at all. Like, I'm not really sure how I'm supposed to, to fix that. We're gonna really invest a little bit into our port that way. Can get a little bit of this going. Again, we want to um, build up our troop, build up our defenses, and shore up defenses as fast as possible, because a union attack will come eventually. So let's get go ahead and get as many of my troops up as possible over these borders. We want to have at least, not possibly another about 200 troops each. that defensive line will hold and over here we can start recruiting as many as possible all right new year new new me all right let's get this going all right not a lot of population for these three there we go about 600 all right get those guys head up there Of course, you want to make sure we strengthen the line as much as possible. About 100 troops will do it because the Union is going to attack us with a very small amount of troops. Generally how it works, and that's what happened last time with me at least. And so what happened was they attacked me with very few troops, and I kept having to you know, abandon a position to go help out fleegely troops. And that just wasn't okay with me. 80 so there and get that up to 100 and these guys are going to push in real quick and that'll give them a little boost so we'll get about 20 more guys for them all right all right so man, i can't really do much about diseases and these have some low let's go ahead and simulate these guys we do not have a internal civil war, which is also what happened last game. Right. Gotta keep the people happy. Gotta keep them happy. We'll invest a little bit into them as well. Invest in economy, invest in development. I want these people on my side. Oh, and we have war declared by the United States. Right, and that's my timer, boys. So it looks like the Americans have just declared war on the Confederacy. And so far, the initial attack is being repelled across the front, which is a good war. All right. Well... As it stands right now, we will go ahead and put one to our military upkeep. And the war has begun, my friends. Union has about 2,000 strong. And we will go ahead and push the army of 
Montgomery up the line here. Now, that is the point, is we want to make sure we hold the Union off for as long as possible. So while we are in here, we are going to go ahead and increase taxes to max so we have at least a good amount of income coming in. I'm going to go ahead and save my progress here. And that will be the end of the first episode, my friends. We have a nice, good, strong perimeter. Uh, we've built up our castles and towers. So now, I wish they had shown me the American troops over here earlier. Favor of any side. Okay, they've lost 1.4 casualties. We have pretty good, sufficient stuff. But I hope you all enjoyed this video. Please come back for part two and later. Yeah, I got the Glock in my robbery. 17 shots, no 30. Yeah, she's fine. Wondering with she be mine. Walk past, I pray.